Welcome to Michoacan, Mexico, the heart of the global avocado trade. This state alone accounts for over 80% of Mexico's avocado exports, with its farms spanning 440,000 acres. By comparison, California, the U.S. largest producer, barely scratches the surface with 52,000 acres. Avocado farming in Mexico isn't just agriculture. It's a $2.4 billion industry fueling everything from local economies to international exports. But with big money comes big problems, ones that ripple far beyond the lush orchards. The environmental toll, water wars. Avocado farming is thirsty work. Growing a single avocado takes about 70 liters of water, enough to fill nearly half a bathtub. Compare that to apples or tomatoes, and you start to see the imbalance. In drought-prone regions like California and Mexico, water scarcity has become a battleground. Streams are diverted, aquifers are drained, and local communities are often left high and dry, quite literally. In Mikokan, water conflicts have escalated into environmental emergencies. Farmers compete fiercely for access, sometimes resorting to illegal means, like siphoning from protected rivers. But the repercussions don't stop there. Over-irrigation erodes soil quality, and climate change amplifies the challenges, making every drop of water a hot commodity. Deforestation and its consequences. The avocado boom has an insatiable appetite, not just for water, but for land. Forests across Mexico are being cleared to make room for sprawling avocado orchards. Between 2001 and 2021, more than 370,000 hectares of forest in Mikokin were lost, much of it to avocado farming. This deforestation isn't just an environmental tragedy, it's a disaster for biodiversity. Take the monarch butterfly, for example. These iconic insects migrate to Mikokin's forests every year to overwinter. But as avocado plantations encroach on their habitats, their populations are plummeting. Soil erosion, reduced carbon capture, and habitat loss are just a few of the long-term consequences. Avocados are often called green gold, and like any gold rush, they'd attracted their fair share of criminals. In Mexico, drug cartels have diversified their portfolios to include avocados. Why smuggle narcotics when you can extort farmers for a steady stream of profits? The modus operandi is chillingly simple. Cartels claim taxes on every shipment, threatening violence against those who refuse. Some farmers are forced off their land entirely and armed gangs seize their orchards. Others pay exorbitant fees to ensure their safety or their survival. In Tansitaro, a town in Mikokin, the situation grew so dire that residents formed vigilant groups to defend their farms. These community militias patrol roads, guard orchards, and even maintain their own checkpoints. While this has brought some stability, it's a grim reminder of the human cost behind the avocado trade. The U.S. Dilemma Import Dependency The U.S. loves its avocados, so much so that 80% of the avocados consumed stateside come from Mexico. But this dependency isn't without its risks. In early 2022, threats against U.S. inspectors in Mikokin led to a temporary import ban, causing panic among retailers and consumers. Prices soared and guacamole enthusiasts were left grappling with sticker shock. Domestic production in California offers little solace. Labor costs, water shortages, and skyrocketing land prices have hamstrung the state's ability to compete. Many growers have abandoned avocados altogether, switching to less resource-intensive crops. This leaves the U.S. in a precarious position. 
heavily reliant on an unstable supply chain, dominated by cartels and environmental degradation. Carbon Footprint of the Avocado Journey An avocado's journey leaves a significant carbon footprint from orchard to supermarket. Most U.S.-bound avocados travel over 2,000 miles from Mexico, often requiring cold storage and transport that emit substantial greenhouse gases. Once they hit U.S. shelves, the energy-intensive ripening process begins, adding another layer of emissions. For all their green connotations, avocados are anything but eco-friendly. Critics argue that the global obsession with this fruit perpetuates unsustainable agricultural practices, contributing to climate change rather than combating it. As demand for avocados skyrockets, new producers are entering the fray. Countries like Kenya, Colombia, and Peru are ramping up production, eager to claim a slice of the lucrative market. But these new players face the same challenges. Water scarcity, deforestation, and exploitation. Without robust regulations, they risk repeating the mistakes of their predecessors. Kenya, for example, has seen a boom in avocado exports, particularly to Europe and Asia. While this brings economic opportunities, it also strains local water resources, as rivers and lakes are tapped to fuel the industry. In Colombia, Violence linked to land disputes mirrors the cartel influence in Mexico. Consumer power. Can we make a difference? It's easy to feel powerless in the face of such overwhelming issues. But as consumers, we wield significant influence. Choosing avocados certified by organizations like Fair Trade or Rainforest Alliance supports farmers who prioritize ethical and sustainable practices. Educating ourselves about the origins of our food is another critical step. The more we demand transparency, the more pressure producers and retailers will feel to adopt better practices. Innovations in sustainable farming. There is hope on the horizon. Some farmers are turning to innovative techniques to reduce avocado farming's environmental impact. For instance, precision irrigation systems help conserve water, while agroforestry practices integrate avocado orchards with other crops and native trees, promoting biodiversity. In Mikokin, a pilot program funded by international NGOs is exploring regenerative farming methods, such as cover cropping and organic soil management. These efforts aim to restore ecosystems while maintaining productivity, a win-win for farmers and the planet. The future of avocado farming. The avocado's meteoric rise to fame is both a blessing and a curse. It has brought economic prosperity to millions, but at a steep cost to the environment, communities, and global food systems. As we look to the future, the challenge lies in balancing demand with sustainability. What will it take to achieve this balance? Policy changes, technological innovations, and consumer awareness are all critical pieces of the puzzle. However, perhaps the most important step is recognizing the true cost of our obsession with avocados, not just in dollars, but in lives, landscapes, and livelihoods. The real price of green gold Avocados have become a symbol of modern living. Trendy, nutritious, and endlessly versatile. But beneath their glossy exterior lies a story of exploitation, environmental destruction, and resilience. As you savor your next slice of avocado toast, remember this, every bite carries a weight far greater than its taste. The power to change the story of avocado farming lies in our hands and it starts with asking one simple question. What price are we willing to pay for green gold? <laughs>